Hello friends, welcome back to Quick Poetry Knowledge. This is your hostess, Mahjubin. Today I'm going to explain William Shakespeare's Sonnet 15. So let's get started. So Sonnet 15, like the previous sonnets of William Shakespeare, even this particular sonnet is dedicated to the fair young friend of the poet. And this is also one of the procreation sonnets of Shakespeare. And this is how it starts. When I consider everything that grows, holds in perfection, but a little moment. That means when I think about everything that grows in this world and it attains its level of perfection, but only for a short duration, that this huge stage, this entire stage of the world, it presented, means it it presents not means nothing but shows it uh, it presents just some place whereon the stars in secret influence comment and the stars twinkling in the sky they they influence the lives of these uh, things which grow on the earth and they the stars have the capacity to um, make the lives of people and to make the lives of any other living thing and to break those lives as well. When I perceive that men as plants increase and when I can see that men can grow just as plants can grow, cheered and checked, uh, checked even by the self same sky and this very sky which holds the stars above to uh, cast their influence upon the lives of men in a uh, 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 at that time, these uh, these stars, they cheer the lives of men and at the same time they check. That means they can break the lives of men also. They break, they can create obstacles, they can make men fall and vaunt in their youthful sap at height decrees. And vaunt means to take pride and in, the, in their youth, men have this habit men have this tendency to be proud of their youth at height decrease but once they have crossed their maturity once they are uh, once they have crossed their peak their power their vitality starts sink uh, sinking it starts uh, going down and where their brave state out of memory and as men start growing older when they have crossed their prime they are forgotten they are forgotten by others then the conceit of this inconstant in state uh, stay sets you most rich in youth before my sight now the narrator is addressing his fair young friend then he says that the conceit that means this the uh, the truth related to this inconstant state uh, stay of man uh, the very fact that man does not stay on in this world forever his time is temporary it sets you this truth it sets uh, sets you most rich in youth before my sight and this is the time when i start thinking about you where wasteful time debated with decay and time seems to fight with decay times time seems to fight with uh, a destruction with decomposition to change your day of youth to solid solid night and time creates its uh, cre creates its wasteful effect on your youth and as a result you cross your youth and you reach into the hours of the night the hours of bleakness night is described as something ugly uh, night is described as something very regressive by the narrator and he says that all in war with time for love of you and he says that i am always in war i'm always fighting with time because i'm deeply in love with you as he takes from you i engraft you new and as time time is being is personified here and the narrator says that as time takes away as time snatches those uh, uh, snatches a man's youth away from him the the narrator because he is deeply in love with his fair young friend he tries to 
make him immortal through his poetry through his compositions he tries to give him a new look he tries to give him a new identity by writing about him by composing uh, about him by ref uh, um, by uh, remembering him in his writings as he takes from you that means as time takes away from you i engraft you new that means the older time makes you feel the older time makes um, uh, con uh, makes you i try to uh, give you a new kind of freshness a new kind of identity i try to make you immortal through my uh, literary works through my writings through my songs through my poetry well that's all for today i'll be back i'll be back again with another tutorial until then bye